Good Wednesday morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Brett Luna, and some of us are waking up to some showers and thunderstorms this morning. Radar picking up on some of that activity, basically located in our more northeastern counties and back close to Interstate 55. That is continuing on that more of a southeasterly track. However, right behind that main system, there are some showers and thunderstorms beginning to fire up in parts of Cahoma County, moving on down into Tallahatchie County and LaFleur County as well. As far as our temperatures go, not too far off from average for this time of year starting out the morning. We're at 72 in Batesville, 75 up in Clarksdale, 73s for Greenwood and right here in Greenville. And then numbers back west of the river are in the low to mid 70s for the early morning. Here's our Futurecast view and Futurecast is keeping at least everybody south of Highway 82 and back west of the river dry for the earlier part of the morning. So stopping it right here, 8 o'clock. Most of that activity will remain back close to Interstate 55. That's going to continue to move a little bit further to the southeast, but as it does, we could see some more thunderstorm activity begin to fire up in parts of Bolivar County down here in Washington County, and that also will begin to move a little bit further southeast. That's going to stick with us for the rest of the afternoon on into the early evening hours. Some of these thunderstorms could be on the strong side. Also, we could see a few isolated severe thunderstorms as well. And as far as the uh, main concern with these, that's going to be damaging winds. We could see some strong winds. Also could see some heavy rain caught up in some of these, some very small hail, and we also are going to see a lot of lightning associated with all this. As we go into the overnight hours, though, most of us will be staying dry. Futurecast has us dry. However, we could still see a few isolated showers late tonight. Tomorrow morning, most of us once again stay in dry for the morning. Few showers possible, though, in our more southern areas. And then as we start to warm up tomorrow, we are going to increase our chance just a little bit for some isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms. But that chance is going to be much lower than we're looking at for today. But once again, the best timing for that tomorrow, that's going to be during the afternoon and very early evening. Temperatures today are going to climb up a little bit. We're going to be in the upper 80s, 87 at 2 o'clock, 88 for our high today at 4, 87 at 6 o'clock. Once again, that chance for showers and some strong and possibly a few severe thunderstorms is there for the later part of the morning and on into the early evening. So even though we're seeing those numbers in the low 80s or upper 80s for the afternoon, we're going to see these heat index values in the mid 90s. So it's going to feel much warmer. 94 is what it will feel like by 2. 95 at 4 o'clock and it'll feel like 95 at 6. Dropping down a little bit though, moving on into tonight, 71 for your low, partly cloudy skies. Winds will be coming out of the south at 5 miles an hour and that chance for a few isolated thunderstorms will still remain tonight. We're going to warm up a little bit more tomorrow though, 92 for the high, partly sunny, southwesterly winds at 5 miles an hour and only about a 20 to 30 percent chance for some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. But right here on the seven day forecast, we are going to keep that rain chance all the way across the board and these high temperatures remaining in the low 90s for the next seven days.